the news now continues in the business segment where about 21 states in Nigeria attracted zero investments in the last four months, according to data from the Central Bank of Nigeria. According to the same data, the following states, which are Rivers, Ondo, Edo, Sokoto, Oyo, Abia, and Anambra, recorded zero capital importation in the last four months. Others are Adamawa, Bauchi, Benue, Borno, Cross River, Delta, Ebony, Enugu, Imo, Katsina, Kogi, Kwara, Oshun, Oyo, Yobe, and Nasarawa states. This information is contained in the capital importation reports obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria. The report also detailed the total amount of fresh investment attracted to the Nigerian economy during the period. Most of the states that failed to attract investments during the period under review also failed to attract any investment even in 2019. This means that it is either the necessary steps were not taken by the government or foreign investors could not find attraction in the states or the environments were simply not conducive for investment. We are joined now by Abiola Odutola. He's the managing editor for Naira Metrics to help us make sense of all of this. Good to have you, Abiola. Uh, good, good to have you. Good morning. Now, what could be responsible for this zero investment in this state? I mean, talking about Edo, Rivers, Ondo, and even Casina. Yeah, th there could be so many um, factors responsible. One no attraction the environment seems not um conducive for investment mm. so definitely for any investors coming in right the the main motive is to to make profits you understand and first one of the key things they look at is security how are they am i sure that okay fine if i'm bringing my money into this state i'm secured now when we're talking about security it has to do with uh, security of life and also property so if these things are not there they have a way of scaring investors mm -hmm. structural imbalance also could actually you know force investors to actually exit I've talked about security also. Political imbalance is another thing. Now, what, what I mean by political imbalance is, okay, fine. What has, how has the transition been in the last, let's say, even from 1999? You understand? Has the, has the transition been smooth? If no, that could also lead to policy somersaults. Mm, and let me ask... And if I may ask also, okay. interestingly, we have two states in the top four, Ondo and Edo states, preparing for election. Uh, could that be linked okay. to, you know, part of the reasons, just what you're saying? Yeah, yes, it could be. That's a fact. One thing I've observed over the years is um, if you look at um, election years, normally there, there seems to be lull in, in the economy even looking at the performance indicators of um, the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Anytime we are quite close to election, there, there seems to be law. What happens at that point is investors will rather like withdraw back. A lot of them will sit on the fence mm. because they don't know where the whole thing is going. They don't know, okay, will this lead to violence or not? And now, if you now look at those states you've mentioned, you mentioned Edo and um, Ondo. And Ondo. Edo, for instance, I, I was listening to the news yesterday when the state governor said, oh, fine, if they want violence, if the opposition want violence, they will give them to, you understand? Things like that distracts and discourages investment. Mm. All right. I mean, Lagos and Abuja are top states with the uh, highest investment. Do you subscribe to rotational movement of capitals in order to develop more states and regions? Yeah, the, the truth is I will not really support that because don't forget it's about investors. Investors have the money. What they look for is okay for environment. If they can get that, the, the desired serenity they want in Lagos, for instance, then there's no point in going to Bono mm. because they know it's like they get their fingers burnt. So it's not about rotational. It's about let's just ensure this environment, this state are conducive for investment. The right. decision is taken by the investors, not even by the government or any other person. If there are no attractions, there are no attractions, the investors won't come. Hmm.